What is a digital divide? According to Roger W. Cave's Encyclopedia of the City, a digital divide refers to a gap in access to technology. But how does this affect education? Does a digital divide equate to an educational divide? Education plays a big role in the digital journey of many countries. Every country has some form of digital divide. The, the question really is what flavor of digital divide do you have? I think in Singapore, um, obviously as an affluent country, the digital divide isn't as great, let's say, than a developing nation overall. According to research done for the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, over 265 million children are currently out of school. There is this uh, drive to have equal access or inclusion in education. And one of the ways to achieve that is through technology. With technology, you can learn faster, you can learn more, and you can learn more accurately. This is Zheng Wei. He is the founder of Accredify, a startup that aims to tackle the issue of digital divide. So what we do is we actually help schools to issue digital tamper-proof credentials. So for example, a technology like ours helps the developing countries' students to actually come out of their country. They are able to issue self-notarized credentials that is recognized globally. Accredify is a startup that joined HyperSpark, a three-month-long pre-accelerator program. When we joined HyperSpark, what we wanted to do was to have their guidance and connections to see how we can help a very specific group of individuals. And these are the 65 million refugees in the world. Today, refugees, when they go into the host country, they actually lose all their credentials. Nobody knows where they studied, what they studied. Our technology is able to help them. Their students are now able to pursue higher education or employment in other better countries. Improving technology will result in improving the quality of education, the whole productivity around it, whether it's sustainable in the long run. It could be a situation where you want to solve improving teachers' productivity. So from the OECD TELUS survey, uh, we found out that teachers in Singapore spend 52 hours working every week the highest in the world. They spend one workday every week on marking alone. Even for relatively less developed countries, assessment is a tool that teachers use very frequently to assess the students. At Get Marked, what we're trying to do is to automate the marking of paper-based assessments. Teachers can continue to use their existing worksheets, load it to a scanner, scan it. The digital copy then gets marked on our server. They will then take that stack, load it onto a printer, and print the marking onto it. Putting red ink on paper, a machine can do that, and a machine should do that, so that the teacher can then focus on higher value aspects of their work. It is in the way startups like Accredify and Get Marked use technology that we can slowly close the digital and educational divide. This, in turn, makes better education accessible for more people. And that's where Tomasic and Startup X come in, through HyperSpark, the world's first sustainability accelerator. For GetMark and Accredify, they know the problem they're trying to solve. They have a very good background and understanding of what they're trying to solve. So the goal is really to target ideas that revolve around sustainability. So the impact and their reason behind what they're doing must be really accentuated throughout the entire program. Tomasic has made a a commitment to sustainability. But really what we want to do is leverage uh, the role that Tomasic has uh, in this country and in this region to bring together the proper resources to help these startups to get to where they want to get to. If you think about the explosion of human population, the opportunity is huge and the impact we can make is even greater. 